accused of sexually battering students. CBS 4's Peter Dench broke the story on CBS 4 News at noon, and he's live at Brownsville Middle School in Northwest Miami Dade with those details. Well, Lauren, this arrest report right here paints a disturbing picture of a former teacher preying on middle school students. This report says he badgered some of them, made crude references about others' bodies, and had sex with two of them. We were there exclusively as he was taken to jail. Wendell Alfredo Nibs is taken to jail at the TGK Correctional Center. The 51-year-old man is charged with two counts of sex battery on youngsters older than 12 but younger than 17 years old. This kind of behavior is not acceptable at any level. Miami-Dade State Attorney Catherine Fernandez-Rundell is concerned about the charges against Nibs, a married father of two children and former PE teacher at Brownsville Middle School. He has been on administrative duties away from children since the allegations first surfaced in May of 2016, that Nibs made repeated sexual comments about the bodies of students and had sex with two of them. If you're a middle school student, and you are 14, 15, 16 years old, and your teacher or your guardian or someone that has so much power and control over you takes advantage of you, imagine the feeling. The warrant details allegations from three students with initials RW, DP, and DJ. In one instance, according to RW, DP said that she and the defendant had sex during school hours while inside the defendant's classroom at Brownsville Middle School. Nips reportedly exchanged nude photos with a student by texting, told another he wanted to see her private parts, told another student she should not wear a thong during PE. In another instance, DJ did not tell anyone about the defendant forcing her to engage in sex with him because she was afraid. She said Nibs threatened her with bodily harm if she told school officials or school's police what happened. Fernandez Rundel encourages youngsters to speak out. Hopefully, this will encourage other girls or boys, as it may be in this school and other schools, to come forward. Now, school spokesman John Schuster says the school system will not tolerate such actions that violate the safety and well-being of children. He calls the actions unconscionable. He says that Nibs is no longer with the school system. He is being held without bond. A source tells us that he resigned this morning. We're live in Northwest Miami-Dade, Peter Danch, CBS 4 News.